Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, I'm once again taking a look at one of your designs that you have linked me in the comment section of one of my videos. And if you have something you wish me to showcase on this channel, just leave me the Steam Workshop link somewhere and I'll eventually get around to it. And if the link magically disappears, it just means that YouTube has just deleted it, but I can still see it through the creator menu. But for today, we are looking at something rather large and rather fun, little bit overpowered, it is the PJGR875L Piston Jolt Gun, which is this gigantic thing right here. So this is a ginormous version of the Piston Jolt Gun, which I showcased not too long ago, and this is it for a size comparison. This is the little one that I showcased compared to the large one. So there's quite a big difference, and there is a bigger difference in the terms of damage it can deal. This large thing can fire at 850 meters per second, and no, I don't know what my character is doing up there, he seems to be dancing around a bit. Let's just ignore him. Pressing F10 and finding the piston jolt gun in the spawn menu, there it is. This is the old one, coming in at 88 blocks, and this is the new one at 572 large blocks, using no mods and no DLC packs got a nice lot of information about this gun and how to place it on the ship to make sure it doesn't ping backwards when you fire it. I'll just give this a little thumbs up and we shall start all the way at the very front here. So what I'm not going to do is go through how this functions because I don't actually know how this functions. It's just a fun and novel thing to play around with. But yes, at the very front here we've got some lovely grey and white blocks. They come all the way down to this part right here which is where our projectile is going to be launched out of. If we move around the side here, we're going to see a hell of a lot of pistons, which is how this thing is going to function. It's just going to anger Lord Clang, and he is going to ping a projectile out at very high speeds. But yes, as we move along there, we've got some blast or edge blocks going along the bottom, until we get to this back part right here, where we've got conveyors, conveyor junctions, we've got some window blocks where we can peer inside here, and what's going on at some rotors, a projector block and some welders, which is how it's going to recreate the projectile once you've fired it. So if you try and build this in survival mode, you will need to have a container with resources connected up to it, but I'm in creative mode, so it doesn't matter. Yes, this is just the inside of the main body. Lots and lots of welders and projectors and rotors. Yes, coming out of that and moving around to the back, I place on the reactor myself just to power this thing, so ignore that. That comes all the way around over to here where we've got a gyroscope, We've got some timer blocks, which is how it's going to set up the welding and the firing. And on the opposite side, the exact same thing. Moving up and above here, not too much else to talk about. We can peer inside where we just were. Then moving along the barrel. There we go. I don't think there's too much else to talk about with it. It should be pretty self-explanatory. Ignoring the chair that I placed on the bottom of it just to fire it. So without further ado, I think it's time to fire this thing. So moving the camera all the way over to here bringing my character into the little seat that I made, to bring it all the way down over to here and getting inside it, you've got a single button to set up to fire this thing. So we're going to need to find a timer block called fire and just drag it down to our hotbar. So I'll just do that. And we want it to be a trigger now. So that when we were to fire it, it'll then make the projectile and then it'll launch it out at very high speeds. If you were to put the light on and fire that once again, we'll look at the main body at how that pings forwards. There we go. We even get a hit marker. That's quite scary. It means it's, is it hitting something in the distance or is the block damaging itself? Yes, we'll come around to here and we'll get another look at how this is going. It's very nice having it on a large block grid. It's a lot easier to see what is going on. Yes, the pistons do some black magic and disconnect their heads from the bodies. Coming around like this. There we go. Then if we were to come inside the barrel itself, take a look inside here. And away it goes. So yes, we can see we've got a bunch of Gatling guns which just has to be disconnecting. That's probably the hit marker, it's just damaging the blocks. So we've got to look from it from behind. And there we go, yes, the Gatling guns are destroying that block, which is where the hit marker is coming from. And once again, for good measure, and away it goes. So where do the projectiles go to if we just try and follow it up with the free camera? That, they are just gone, absolutely gone. And now I'm lost. So we can use the entity menu to try and find where it's gone. That is a bunch of other stuff. I don't think it exists anywhere. Could that be it? Nope. That's it. It's it. Oh, God. 
Well, we found one of them. <laughs> Not too sure what happened there, but it seems to have just thought it hit something. Oh, there's another explosion. That was the one which followed up. In fact, we just fire a few of them out. So there, that's, that's now launched. We'll fire another one. That's now launched. And away it goes, another one. And we'll just chill here for the moment and see if it comes over and explodes again. Oh, there we go. There's the first one. Second one should be not too far behind. There it is. And the third one should be somewhere around there. There it is. So it does have a distance. And it is quite a distance away. 25 kilometers before it self-destructs. But uh, there we go with that. So bring the camera back over here. And putting it... Well, we'll put it over here because I have set up one on the Albatross jump ship in order to shoot some more Albatrosses. So just bring my character out of there. Out of the seat. And we'll just fly all the way across onto... Wherever that's gone, there it is. We'll bring the sun back around because it has moved around a little bit. There we go. Now we're just going to get inside the albatross and we're going to target those things and see what damage we can deal with it. And into the cockpit. We don't need to have our beacon. We simply need to have our fire. There we go. Trigger nailed. And we're just going to turn this around very, very slowly. And in fact, we'll just go and close everything up to make sure we're nice and protected. We will give this a little test into the asteroids. Make sure we're not going to ping too far. There we go. Yes, we are nice and stable with this ship. We're just going to come all the way up to here. Find the free camera to make sure we're lined up. I probably should have put a camera on this. In fact, that's probably a great idea. Now we're going to try this again. We're just going to come to a complete stop. There we go. Now we're going to come like this. And we're going to trigger it. And there we go. That was a nice lot of damage there. We went straight through that block. And we dealt some nice damage to the second one. Not too much. I was expecting it to go straight through both of them. What I will do is just come across like this. Aim down a little bit more. Like so. And we shall fire it once again. I'll just bring this over. Hide all the signals and fire it. Oof. There we go. That went straight through. We've dislocated the front. The bridge. We've dealt some... Well, still a little bit damaged to the second one. I still expect it to be a hell of a lot more. There we go. We're now going to turn this all the way around over to here. And we'll bring the camera around like so. We'll now fire it. And there we go. That was a great shot straight into the hangar. The hangar bay is absolutely destroyed. And we dealt again a little bit of damage to the other one, just removing the hangar bay doors. But it's not too bad overall. And once again, as per usual, I pasted it in upside down. Yes, that is pretty much it for the PJGR-875L Piston Jolt Gun. Quite a mouthful to say, but it is a fantastic little thing. I say a little, it's a fantastic big thing to play around with if you are looking for a non-traditional weapon that can deal a lot of damage and doesn't require any mods. So there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around with it yourself. I highly recommend you do. And I'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye bye.